Built-in scheduling tools within the DCOM ERP allow our customers to determine what's going to be produced on which days, including any type of capacity calculation that they want to use to determine if they're going to be within the capacity of that particular day. This tool here allows us to filter specific schedules based on things such as the shop area, the work center that they may be producing on, categories of jobs, and maybe even down to a specific location or facility that they're doing their scheduling. We can use user-defined capacity calculations to drive specifically what we can do on those given dates. This view here is showing us a weekly view of what needs to be done each individual day. The blocks that we see here are the jobs that have been scheduled on that day. Some of those blocks are bigger than others, and that's just telling us that they will take a little bit longer to produce than the other ones that have been scheduled. At the top of any of our days is that capacity calculation that we drove to. So in this case, we're looking at worker capacity. So if we have, let's say 30 workers available to work each day, this will tell us what's left available and what workers are being used already given the jobs that have been scheduled. Down below would be any jobs that have been unscheduled. And what's nice about this particular scheduling view is a drag and drop capability for us to add specific jobs to given dates. What we're also seeing here are different color codes. Color codes around whether or not we have the inventory to produce. Green says that the inventory is here. We can go ahead and start production. If you saw yellow on here, that would mean that something has been ordered but has not arrived, but it should be here in time. And then the red that we see is telling us that the inventory is not here and we need to take action. So take action could mean that we need to order it or we need to expedite a specific order that's coming in the door. From here, we can then uh, move jobs from one day to another as needed. So if we need to move one of the red ones out or we move one of the green ones up, we can very easily do that within this particular production view.